Directus is a real-time API and an app dashboard for managing SQL database content. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how you can install and immediately start using Directus. It is as simple as installing an NPM package. In fact, Directus has its own NPM package to quickly get you up and running. The first thing you need to do is visit the official Directus package page. You can do so by going to npm and searching for Directus or simply go to npmjs.com forward slash package forward slash Directus. Directus allows both administrators and non-technical users to view and manage the content stored in a pure SQL database. Right now, I'll show you how to set it up. To properly use Directus, you need to have a Node.js version greater than 10. To install or update Node, you can head to nodejs.org and download any of the recommended releases. After you do that, you'll need to open your code editor of choice and a terminal window. I'm using Visual Studio Code that has a handy built-in terminal, so we'll be executing our commands there. First, we can check if Node is properly installed by typing node-v. And there we have it. If you see a number greater than 10, you're good to go. To install Directus, you can enter a command listed in their npm page, right here, npx create Directus project demo. After you run that, this will create the given directory, set up the configuration, and install the database. After Directus is successfully installed, the CLI is going to ask you a few questions. First, it allows you to choose any of the most popular SQL databases like Postgres, MySQL, and so on. In this case, I'll choose MySQL. It just installed the necessary database drivers, and now you need to select a few options. For the host, just click Enter. For the port as well. Now we have to create our database. I'm using MySQL, so I'll head to the MySQL workbench, and there I'll create a new database. This process is going to be different depending on which database you're using. I'm going to head right here to create a new schema and I'm going to name my database Directus. Click Apply and that is going to create a new schema or a database called Directus. Now let's set up our admin user. If we head to Users and Privileges, you'll be able to see that MySQL already set up a root user for us. So the only thing we have to do is provide it with some privileges. To do that, I'll head to Query and type in the following command, alter user, in here you have to specify the name of your user, and then you say add localhost identified with my SQL native password by, and then in here you have to type your own password. It can be 123123 or a real password. In this case, I'm gonna say password. It is just a word of password. And then you have to do a semicolon. And on the next line, you can say flush privileges. Make sure to change this root to your user's name and the password to your own password you want to use. Now we can select both lines and click right here, which is going to execute the selected portion of the script. If you click that, you'll be able to see that we successfully flush the privileges and alter the user. Now we can continue with the Directus CLI. Database name is going to be the one we just created. In this case, Directus. User is going to be root and the password in my case is going to be just the word password. In here, you can create your admin user credentials. Type in your desired email and password and that's it. In my case, I'm gonna use JavaScript mastery email and I'm going to set the password to be simply password. To run the Directus app, you need to CD into a newly created directory. You can copy this line and then simply paste it. Now you can run the command mpx directus start. That's going to start up the application on localhost 8055. Let's open it up by going to localhost 8055. And in here, we'll be able to type in our credentials and log in. In my case, it's gonna be javascriptmastery00 at gmail.com and the password is going to be password. Finally, click sign in. And there we go. We are inside of an extremely powerful web application that manages your entire SQL database and allows for easy creation of entire data models, collections, and items, even for non-technical users.